In the deep dark hills of eastern Kentucky That's the place where I trace my bloodline And it's there I read On a hillside gravestone Said you will never leave Harlem alive Well, my granddad's dad walked down Catherine's Mountain And he asked Tilly Helton to be his bride Said, won't you walk with me Out of the mouth of this holler Or we'll never leave Harlan alive Where the sun comes up about ten in the morning and the sun goes down About three every day And you fill your cup With whatever bitter brew you're drinking And you spend your life Just thinking of how to get away No one ever Till a man from the northeast arrived He was waving hundred dollar bills He said I'll pay you for your minerals But he never left Harlan alive Well granny she sold out cheap out west of Pineville to a farm where big rich land river winds yeah and I bet they danced them a jig and they laughed and sang a new song who said we'd never leave Harlan alive Times got hard and tobacco wasn't selling. And old granddad knew what he'd do to survive. Well, he went and dug for Harlan Coal and sent the money back to Granny. But he never left Harlan alive. Where the sun comes up About ten in the morning And the sun goes down About three every day And you fill your cup on and fill it up With whatever bitter brew you're drinking And you spend your life Digging coal from the bottom Oh, in the deep dark hills of eastern Kentucky Yeah, that's the place where I trace my bloodline, my bloodline And it's there I read it on a hillside gravestone Said you will never Leave Harlan alive. I wrote that song uh, based on a trip I made to Kentucky. Uh, my family's from Kentucky for the last 150 years or so. And there's a, a great-grandfather in family history who uh, was never to be talked about again. 
and so the following generations never talked about him. So we never knew about him except all I knew was that he was a musician. Back in uh, 1905 um, and before, and so I was curious about him because he played banjo. Uh, but we were never to talk about him or ask questions because no one had any information. So I went to Harlan County, Kentucky uh, to do some research uh, to see what might have happened to him, like uh, old records, marriage, birth certificates, death certificate things and all that. And I'm not much of a research person. Uh, so I spent a day doing that and I also spent part of the day going out to graveyards uh, in Harlan County, the particular area where he came from. And, you know, literally uh, looking at graves, turning over stones that had been, you know, overgrown uh, many decades ago and um, came up with no information whatsoever about it. But the act of kind of stepping into that, trying to, I wasn't looking for a song, I was looking for uh, what happened to my uh, great grandfather, but about a week later it turned into this song. Um, and really just kind of telling the story of, uh, you know, Harlan County, uh, for those who come from that part of Kentucky, or even, you know, Harlan County's been mythologized really in songs, uh, folk music really, for the last hundred years of coal mining and all that. Uh, the mythology is huge and, uh, and, and it's just bigger than life. And so, um, uh, for my family and a lot of folks from Kentucky or who have mining history at all, you know, this song uh, kind of resonates just kind of, uh, you know, the, the terrible conditions that it all, all ends up in. Every bit of the song is absolutely true enough to where uh, I've had people send me a genealogy based on the, the details in the song uh, from my family because that's how accurate it is. Uh, and until the last verse. The last verse, uh, because I didn't know what happened to him uh, in the song as the uh, writer, and we have that power as writers to shape it how we wish, of course. Uh, I gave him a more dignified ending than the one he had in real life. So I had him go back to the mines and that he never leaves Harlan alive. Uh, but that's, uh, that's my editorializing on that. I gave him a, an ending that he didn't have in real life. In real life, we weren't supposed to talk about him. And he did something bad, and I know that he played banjo. This is a song called Down to the River off of a record of mine, a new record called Couchville Sessions. It's the first song on the record, because I've noticed how folks listen to music. Uh, they hear the first song more than any other song, and the last song the least. And uh, so that I kind of put this in the first place. Uh, one thing I'm really proud of on the recording is I have my friend Guy Clark uh, doing a, a voiceover at the end of it. And I recorded him over at his house with like a Zoom you know, on a table um, uh, between us. And I just wanted his voice flown in to this uh, song S to such a degree that this song was recorded 14 years ago. And I left this gap at the end of the song. It's a whole minute. I always knew what I was going to do, which was to fly Guy Clark's voice into that minute. It took me 14 years to get back to the song, the recording, and get over to Guy's house. Um, and, uh, and then fly him in there. So I had the, uh, it was not an accident. Very deliberate, I only want to hear Guy Clark's voice because he's a friend of mine and he's the perfect uh, guy to be uh, speaking at the end of this song. Um, the other thing I can say about it, it's, I guess it's about the music industry of sorts uh, and my place in it or our places in the music industry. Sometimes the music industry doesn't have much to do with art and uh, creative stuff, it seems. A lot of times it's kind of uh, anti-creative. Um, and so this is a song about that. In the last verse, I do a ridiculously short, uh, two, two abridged uh, version of the history of uh, singer-songwriters in America. Don't hold me to it, but it's a general uh, flow uh, about where uh, we came from. It started with Woody Guthrie, I do believe. Now me and some buddies were down by the river. There were drinkers and dopers and abstainers by choice. 
There was red wine and white lines, blue smoke and good times. And when we all sang, we had us one voice singing, let's all go down to the river at midnight. We'll swim muddy waters and pick us a tune. You shall be released when we know what you are. Well, the kangaroo court was now in session. Exhibit A was a blaring radio. They said, son, is it clear what is to be expected? I said, sir, your music ain't got no soul. Let's all go down to the river at midnight. We'll swim and pick us a tune and we won't give a damn if it's rock folk country or blues Dylan neath a banana tree And guy in towns made a stew down in Texas and brought the whole hog down to Tennessee Let's all go down to the river at midnight We'll swim muddy waters and pick us a tune And we won't give a damn if it's rock folk country or blues Oh, let's all go down Pick us a tune and we won't give a damn if it's a rock folk country or blue. Here's a song that my dad wrote the lyrics to. My dad was a songwriter, not a professional, no published this, that, or anything in his lifetime. But he's one of those guys who had to write, so he did. Uh, he didn't know what to do with it in a professional, so to speak, way, but he wrote anyway. So uh, this is a, a lyric that I found of his. Uh, with most of his songs, I remembered the melodies from childhood and all that, uh, but this is one that I don't remember uh, his tune, so I put a tune to it. So it's a co-write, and then I added the last verse to kind of uh, finish it up, I suppose. And it's uh, it's this called with a memory like mine. <laughs> Watch that big light shine this way Hear that whistle softly blowing Lord, it's been an awful day I watched him leave that Friday morning It was in the month of May I told my son to be a good soul Turn again someday. He did 
did return just one year later Lord, I'll not forget that day The baggage car is where he traveled And a casket where he lay Train man, keep your whistle blowing Make it moan and make it wild You make a man feel mighty lonesome With a memory like mine In a little country graveyard On a dark and dreary day They place a flag upon the casket And the casket in the grave I couldn't stand it any longer And I knew not how to pray I just cried, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord I hate to leave them all along beneath the clay The train man I can see him as a baby And I can hear him call my name I can feel him under fire See him rising from the flame But if I could, I'd trade places I would gladly give my all I'd wrap that flag around me like a blanket And listen for the clouds to fall Trade man, keep your whistle blowing, make it moan and make it whine. You make a man feel mighty lonesome with a memory like mine. Trade man.